Hey, I'm Hamid and today or tonight I want to talk about this book and I hope that you didn't read this book or if you read you'd like to just watch this video to just come with me with the notes that I got from this book and I'd like to share those with you and I hope that you like it. Uh, I'm so excited to tell you about this book. I just started this book like say today and I'm in the first chapter and I'm still, I'm still not done with the first chapter, just two pages left. So still, I mean, I want to just talk about this book. I'm so excited. I mean, I hope that you like this video. So I got some notes from this book and I'm just going to share with you. That's it. That's the whole process. Hopefully it's fun. <clears throat> so I want to start with this uh, uh, notes that I got. So I'm going to look and just come back and just this. So I hope that you don't get upset if I go back and forth on my laptop come back anyway um, this book it's, it, this book started very well with a good quote from someone that I don't know but I mean it's a good quote uh, the quote is something about some forces that you have in yourself inside of you and you uh, can just like use them use them to do something amazing uh, let's just start with the first word that just come to my just hit me in my face the name is change what change means to you or what change means to me <clears throat> today I was thinking about it actually I mean I know that you cannot answer so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, finish my line <clears throat> so the reason that I put this word here because today I realized that okay I can see change different before I said, okay, change, I used change million times in my uh, writing, in my essays, on my homeworks, in the school, out of school, different way. I used this change a lot, but today I'm seeing it in a different way, in a different angle. What's change? To me, change is like you're, you want to be different than yourself right now. You want to be different. It's just a want, it's a lack. Uh, it's just, there's something lack there, there's something missing there in your life or in your mind that, okay, something is missing. I want something new. I want to just change to something different. I want to be different. I want to have different. You know what I'm saying? So we want change or we see change as a, just shifting to something from someone to someone else or from something to something else. So and since we are human and we have some tools in ours uh, we try try exploring we try discovering we try imagination these are facilities that we have because we are human so yeah other animals they cannot do i mean who knows but we we use imagination we use exploration we use uh, discovery and we become a successful uh, breed in world i mean not in all points in some points we messed up uh there's no doubt about that but the thing is that there's there's some person i mean we have lots of progress when we see backward to our life like centuries centuries before i mean life was different totally different like 100 years ago life was totally different like 50 years ago life was totally different and we're changing and our demands changing our desires changing everything's changing so change to me today was a very beautiful name was a very strong name actually surprisingly or say uh, in other words but uh, Tony mentioned about uh, change and the principles that are behind this change that we can use them for ourselves to change to someone or something that we want or we want to have so the first things that you should consider yourself you're gonna start with one things your standards sorry I'm checking time so make sure that I'm gonna catch you right time so changing your standards or changing your let me just make it clear hope that you can see it 
changing your demands. You're going to start with this one. You're going to tell yourself that, okay, one day you wanted $2,000 in your bank account. And one day you want $200,000 or want $2 million. This is change. This is changing your demand, changing your standard. This is not my standard. This is not my level. I want to go higher. Uh, this is something that we can do. No uh, efforts, but we don't do. We just like stay in our comfort zone. We feel that, okay, we cannot do anything. We cannot get stuck here. There's nothing where we get uh, bombarded by some like a external events and we think that we are victim. We cannot change our lives. So, uh, but Tony Robbins some, says something else. He says, you know what? I mean, you can change to anything you want or to anyone you want, but first things you need to change your standard and change your demands. You need to raise your uh, standards in any point. Like, I mean, it could be money, it could be a job, it could be a wife, it could be partner, it could be salary, it could be your house, it could be your car, it could be anything. Like a spiritual life, you want to just go higher and different things. So academic life, you know, anything. So change your demands is the first start, is the first step. The second step, he's talking about something that I love. Change. Sorry. Not dirty job. Change your body again. Limiting beliefs. 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 I have problems. Big problem with this book word. Maybe one day I tell you why, but I mean, but now I'm just gonna continue with Tony Robbins uh, stuff. So beliefs, whatever. Belief is just like coming from unquestioned comments. Unquestions, unquestioned commands. These are your belief. This is belief. This is the definition that, that Tony Robbins gave it to us. Sorry for this one. And and this unconditional, I mean, unquestioned or unquestionable commands that tell us what to do. Shape us. Shape what? Shape our thought uh, sometimes uh, change our experience change our feeling and tells us what we can and what we can. So the second one is tough one I know. Limiting beliefs, unquestioned commands. So if you agree to this point, you need to agree with the other point. So you know that beliefs is unquestioned commands. If you have a different type of definition for beliefs, that's up to you. I mean, I mean, I'm not in war with you. I don't have any, I don't have any concerns about that. But I mean, that's okay. But I mean, if you have, if you're feeling that, I mean, this is what you think. I mean, that our beliefs are just unquestioned commands that tells us what to do. What's this? What's the, what is right for us? What is wrong for us? What is what we can do or what we can't do or what we are able what's our capability everything is just coming from these commands like one uh, famous phrase that i mean we always hear about the fish that i think was einstein that talking about these things that maybe i'm wrong <laughs> i'm not very good in names sorry but i mean uh, but the phrase was that fish i mean everyone is genius but you need to find in what so you can be genius in anything you want. You're like a stem cells. You are capable to be changed to anything you want. It depends on what direction you're going. It's all about the direction. So you are able to be anything or anyone that you want. 
it's just your truth it's just your uh decision that which way you want to go but the thing is that if you put fi fish is a good uh swimmer but if you bring fish to the ground and tell him to run or just move nothing gonna move so uh, back to this one limiting beliefs unquestioned commands and what they're doing to us these comments is just affecting everything about us and still i'm having them i'm having some beliefs that hurting me you know sometimes i mean they're talking about this uh, conversation that they, that if you go deep you feel okay the obstacles is just you that one that is on the way is you to progress to flourish to uh say be anyone anything that you want to be any things that you want to have everything you're the obstacle for this one so you need to work on yourself change your standards change your demands but more important you need to change your beliefs because if you don't change your beliefs change your standards and demands doesn't work sorry and the third one the third one is change up your strategy change i mean we have to change change your strategy i'm gonna oh i'm so bad strategy yeah. <laughs> and change of strategy so it means that i mean he's talking about these things i mean uh i won't tell you this way the way that i kind of learned that is that don't yeah i use word don't stay on your mental phase what does it mean by mental phase you're dreaming i told you that go dream go imagination if i didn't tell you i tell you right now go dream go imagine imagine everything you want imagination is a facility that is for you and you can use it and nobody can charge you for that nobody can tell you that okay you cannot go this way maybe maybe you can go this way oh madam please stop there or like sir please just move the other side oh please don't have that dream oh please don't have that imagination no that's a big no means that you can touch you can just do anything you want this is your imagination just think about it that you can create a word in your mind and nobody can see it a word bigger bigger than this here bigger than right here that we're living right now so don't stay on your mental face doesn't say that don't dream say dream but action need it you need to do action you need to move you need to you cannot just stay home lay down and just like uh, say okay i'm dreaming about something that i want to be and then okay raise it i mean it's not coming to you i mean i mean there is right that i mean this is this is right that i mean you are everything that you create create in two places first in your mind and then in your real world but for that things that happen you need to do action and you're gonna find the actions there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing there's nothing that you worry about that if you want something you're gonna get it just enjoy the journey it's a fun journey don't think that reaching to goals to purpose is gonna be painful oh I'm it is killing me so trying harder or just like walking harder doesn't mean that you're going to the right way or you're doing the right things sometimes reaching to the point can be super super easy super easy it's just shifting your angle shifting your view sometimes it's just like that i mean like there's a f famous uh, phrase that i mean the book that i mean right now in the uh, book club that talking about this fly that the fly hitting the window and by hitting the window by hitting the window just trying to get out of the house but the window is closed but he doesn't know he just go he just continue to go and he just hit harder hit harder but 
then I realized that I mean or like somebody realized that I mean there's a small gap the window is a little open so he can just leave that spot he's hitting this spot but there's open spot that he can go he's just hitting harder he thinks that if he tried harder he can go out but it's not gonna happen he's gonna die there he just can try to his death but if he just change his angle that's it Sometimes you just change, shift your angle and it's going to happen for you. You don't need to worry about that. Don't have stress or don't get stressed. Oh my God, I don't have any clear image, imagination for yourself. I don't know what I want or I don't want what to dream. I don't know what to do, but don't worry. Just go to your dream. Fun, have fun. Just see it as a play. It's a game. Like uh, everyone says, life is just game. Life is just play. Just play it. Just enjoy don't worry about the part. I mean, it's just how you're gonna there, get there, how you're gonna be rich, how you're gonna be CEO of this company, how you're gonna be the manager. Don't worry about that. Just dream and enjoy and laugh and feel it. Feel it. Feel. Feel and put yourself there and just imagine what you're doing right there. Just like, I mean, you close your eyes and you're there. You're just like, like, I mean, if you want a beautiful land in the somewhere in the farm, just like in the beautiful spot, just see, close your eyes and just imagine that you're walking your farm with your friends, with your wife, with your partner, with your family. Just imagine and then it's going to happen to you. Dude, everyone uses it and it worked for lots of people. I used it for my life. I did it and it worked for me. But now, after this book, I'm going to focus more. I'm going to direct more, direct my attention to the point that I want and instead of just sending different way to just like measuring lots of minor things as it says or like I mean uh, distracting myself with lots of things I'm just gonna focus on one things just go one direction like this way nothing gonna happen but if you I press this way I have some forces and my force is stronger you know so just go for it uh, I mean it's gonna be continued in the next chapter, we we're gonna talk about that. And I hope that you like this video. It's shareable. If it's not your type or you don't like, it's okay, just ignore me. Have a good day and hopefully that you're gonna reach to the point that you wanna be there.